Hello, I'm Terry and I'm Nuts About Stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to teach you how to make this really cute bitty box that's featured in our brand new idea book and catalog. Here's what you need to make this project. You need the bitty box and envelope bigs extra long die. You're going to need the extended cutting pad, which is on the bottom here already, and the extended um, impressions pad, and that's what will help us make the nice creases and not cut through the, the crease folds that we need. You're going to use the Hello Again stamp set. I love this stamp set. If you haven't seen my blog already, you'll have seen many posts about it. And I'm going to be featuring a new Stamps in the Mail Club using this stamp set uh, coming up. So check out my blog for more information. For those of you that are long distance and want to do some stamping, consider joining my club. You're also going to use the Bold Bright Brads. You're going to need some adhesive. I've got my snail adhesive and my sticky strip. Sticky strip is great for putting the boxes together. I use the Brilliant Blue Classic Stamping Pad. The 1 16th inch punch, my paper snips, of course, and some old olive 1 quarter inch grow grain ribbon. And then I use three punches. I use the trio flower punch, I use the small oval, and the large oval punch. And then finally, I used some hemp twine. Mine's not in the package anymore, obviously. All right, let me show you how to make this box. Here are a few things out of my way. All right, so you're going to make a traditional sandwich. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the cardstock you're going to use. I use Tall Tales Designer Series paper. I use So Saffron paper, Whisper White, and Rose Red. All right, now let's talk about the sandwich. You've got your standard cutting pad on the bottom. You've got your bitty box and envelope die on top. The bitty box is actually at the top of the die here, so I put my Tall Tales Designer Series paper at the top. And then the bottom part of the die is an envelope. And actually, when you put the envelope together, it's going to look like that. So it's an extra little bonus that you have in this die. And when you die cut it out, it's going to be like this. And it's got all the folds in it, and you just put it together. And it's really a cute little envelope. I'm not really going to focus on the envelope today. We're just going to focus on making the bitty box. And then on the top, you're going to put the impressions pad. And then you run it through the big shot. I'm going to run mine back and forth a little bit. When I did this yesterday to make the sample for the video, I noticed that some of my score lines, or sorry, some of my cut lines didn't cut all the way through. So by rolling back and forth, I hope to add just some extra pressure. There we go. You'll have to judge your own dies for their cut ability, I guess, for lack of a better term. that out of the way. All right, so here is the little bitty box, and I do have one little line that I need to cut. Sometimes that happens. There we go. And as I stated before, here's the envelope die, and I'm just going to set that aside, and maybe I'll feature this on another project coming up soon. All right, so I'm going to bring this in just so you can see. So this die has lots of score lines, and it would be good to use your bone folder if you had yours handy. I don't. So we will just hand score them for now. The bone folder gives you a nice crisp score, though, so I highly recommend it. All right, so here's what it looks like. You've got a couple of little tabs, like so. And then all you need to put sticky strip on is this piece here and this piece here. So let me do that now. So 
So you fold it in and put the sticky strip on that side. And sticky strip on that side. All right, so I'm going to just peel off one side for now. And put that on like that. So that holds that side of the box together. And then I'll peel off the second side of the sticky strip. And basically all I need to do is tuck it in and line it up. The sticky strip adheres very well. There. Oops. There we go like that. And then all you do is you fold this piece down, you tuck in the tabs, and this has a little slit in it. I'm not sure you can see it on the video, but it's got a little slot or a little slit. And that's what you're going to tuck the little tab into, and that's what holds the box together. There we go. Isn't that cute? It's quick and easy. Imagine if you made these for favors for, I don't know, a birthday party or an anniversary or some kind of celebration. It'd be quick and easy to run a bunch of those through. And then you could use the little envelope for a thank you gift or a thank you card afterwards. Anyway, so let me bring in the one that I finished, which is this one here. And so how I uh, completed this is I stamped hello on Brilliant with using my Brilliant blue ink pad on Scrap Whisper White and punched it out with my small oval, punched out a large oval with Scrap um, So Saffron. I used one trio flower from that punch and I used um, a brilliant blue brad and then I wrapped the whole thing with old olive grow grain ribbon and then used my 1 16th inch punch to punch a little hole in the oval image and tied it to the ribbon with twine. And that's it. A quick and easy but really cute little project. I'm Terry and I'm Nuts About Stamping. Check out my blog for more information on this project for the measurements, dimensions, and so on. See you next time.